My name is Eddie Maluka. I'm, uh, I'm currently the Chief Executive Officer of the African Peer Review Mechanism, which is the organ of the African Union. Uh, I was uh, honored uh, by, by my fellow UCT alumni and other members of the UCT community to be elected the president of the convocation at the meeting, the General Assembly, which was held at the end of 2018. Of course, the, the alumni, it means we are people who studied here. We lived here, we lived in the rest, we, we studied here, we spent a considerable number of our years as part of the UCT family. So in this, because of that, we have a lot of contribution we can make. We have to build a very strong connection with the university, and this connection, of course, it's very emotional, but it also has to be on substance to contribute to the efforts on campus here at university to achieve the and to deal with the challenges currently facing our university. The, the alignment between convocation and the alumni association is very important because the alumni are in effect the pillar in my view of the convocation and, uh, and, and and without an alignment between the convocation and the alumni association, I think we can only do so much, but we can achieve much, much, uh, a lot if the two are aligned and working together. And it's something that I commit myself to doing. I've already started, I've, I met with the, the leadership of the alumni association, the members of the uh, advisory board. I met with uh, Diana Yach, and I also started my own interaction with the alumni support unit based at the university near Bremner. I'm currently employed as the Chief Executive Officer of the African Peer Review Mechanism. The African Peer Review Mechanism is an organ of the African Union, so we have, uh, as I speak, 38 countries out of 54 member states of, of the African Union that are our own members. So we have in some of them country offices, we have activities. So this is really a platform that I think is at the disposal of the, uh, of the alumni. To, to use, to reach out to other alumni on the continent. So I commit myself to doing my part in making sure that in the work that we do in the African Peer Review Mechanism, we also reach out to members of the UCT community who are out there on the African continent to, to lie with them and also for them to contribute to the work that the APRM is doing because APRM is about our people, it's about good governance, it's about promoting popular participation in governance on the African continent. So they are citizens of our countries on the continent and they can, of course, through the APRM contribute, but in that way also it will be an opportunity for us to reach out to them to create the affinity, the linkages uh, across among ourselves but also vertically with our university. One of the big uh, important contribution we can make as the alumni community to UCT is intergenerational dialogue. I look there and of course with the fees must fall, roads must fall, really this has raised issues about transformation, the pace, the direction and intensity of direction of, of transformation on our campuses. We were there in the 80s, we were there in the 70s, perhaps even much earlier. We've got something to share with those that are uh, at the cold face of the challenges at UCT at the moment. Through intergenerational dialogue, we can come and avail ourselves to talk to those who are the, who are the leadership of UCT today and also to us, the student community, to the academic community and say, in our days, these were the issues, this is how we dealt with them. And then through inter intergenerational dialogue and exchange, we can be able to enrich the conversation and the dialogue to find solutions to pressing challenges facing UCT today.